Hello all, welcome to Binary Programming. In this video, we will solve the fourth challenge of SQL for Admins module. The name of the challenge is Create Relationship Queries with Custom Objects. Let's move to the challenge. So we need to create a relationship query in this challenge. We need to use SQL to identify the properties which are listed with Dreamhouse Reality in the last 30 days. So there is a precondition which needs to be completed before completing this challenge that is we need to install the dreamhouse package and import the sales data so to install the dreamhouse package and get the sample data there are some steps which is given to us here we can follow these steps and get the package installed so the rest part of the challenge we will be completing in this video that is we need to create a class called property utility then a method new listed properties by the keywords public static and void we need to create a list that is new property list out of the object of property and we need to get these following details called name brokers email address and how long the property has been on the market then we need to iterate this list which you created with a loop and finally we need to print the properties into a prop emails variable by the format of property name colon broker email into the debug log so let's move to the arc and complete this challenge so in the org we are going to the developer console and in the developer console we are going to create a new fs class so the name of the class is given to us that is property utility so let's copy this thing from here and paste it here so this will create a new fs class for us now what we are going to do is we need to create a method called new listed properties and it should be public static and void so here it is public static and void and the name which we have copied here is new listed properties it is not accepting any variables so this is the method which we have created now we need to create a list of the property object that is new property list we don't know the api name for this property object so there is a hint associated in this challenge that is you need to use the api names not the field names or the field label so the list name is new property list so we'll get the api name of this property object we'll go to the object manager and search for the property so this is the property object let's copy the name of the api name of the object from here and here we are going to create a list so the list of type property and the list name is given to us that is new property list we will copy this thing from here I'll paste it here now we need to assign the data into this list so data should contain the name of the property the brokers email address and how long the property has been on the market so we'll go to the property object to get the API names of all these fields we'll go to the fields and relationship and here we will search for the name first so the name has the API name called name itself so we copy this thing from here and we'll go for the select name comma the next thing is we need to get the broker's email address so we'll search for the email address of the broker here so the name will be the broker so we can see the broker is of type lookup so there is an object called broker associated with this so we'll go to the object manager again and here this time we are going to search for the broker object let's copy the api name from here and in this broker object we are going to search for the email so here is the api name of the email so first what we are going to do is we are going to write the broker we replace the c with r and dot the email so this is the field name called email I'll paste it here so these are the two fields we have retrieved the third field will be the property has been on the market so again we are going to the object manager and to the property object and in the property object this time we are going to search for the days on market so going with the days on market this is the API name of the field and here from the property object 
so again there is a condition which is given to us in this challenge that we need to filter it out the data based on the property was listed within the last 30 days so we are going to put a condition here a where condition which simply says that where the days on market should be less than 31 that is it should be satisfying the condition the listed within the 30 days so the query which we have created is here now what we are going to do is we are going to write a loop to iterate through the data which is coming into this list so we are going to write a for loop that iterates through the query result so let's go to the developer console and write a for loop here so this is the for loop which we are going to create and for loop is property let's say p colon the list that is new property list it's here and inside this what we are going to do is we are going to create a new variable called prop email it should be of string type and it should contain the data in this format that is property name colon broker email so let's copy the variable name from here that is prop email it should be a string type so string prop email equals p dot name then we are going to concatenate it colon with the broker's email address so the broker r dot email address so this is the same thing which we had retried from the query and finally what we are going to do is we are going to print this prop email into the debug log so we are going to use the system dot debug and inside this what we are going to do is we are just going to place this variable into the debug logs so this is it we have completed all these steps which are mentioned in this challenge so what we have done is we have created a class called property utility inside that we have created a public static void method called new listed properties and then we have created a list of property object and we have written a query through which we are selecting the name broker email days on the market from the property object where the days on the market should be less than 31 that is within the last 30 days then we are iterating this property list and we are fetching the name colon the broker's email address and printing it into the debug logs so this is what we have done according to the steps which are mentioned in this challenge let's check whether we have done it correct or not so yes we have completed this challenge and got 500 points for this see you guys in the next video with a new challenge thank you